are some of the positive coping mechanisms that people can use when they're diagnosed with melanoma? Well, Madeline, let me say first why coping is such an important uh, topic for melanoma patients. Um, anybody with a diagnosis of melanoma is having to cope with it. That's a common denominator for everybody. And the research has shown that there's certain positive ways of coping and then not so positive ways of coping. That is, ways of coping that promote somebody's uh, psychological adjustment and overall emotional well-being. And a reason that's so important is because research has shown that there's a connection between one's emotional state and their immune system that there's receptor sites on immune cells for the hormones and neurotransmitters and neuropeptides that uh, are regulated by emotion. Uh, so if a person is coping in a way with their diagnosis and their illness that promotes a, a good emotional well-being, then it's, it's more likely that their immune system is going to be helped by, uh, by that process. Some of the positive ways of, of coping with, with melanoma, actually one of the first positive ways is to watch a videotape like this because patients are facing the reality of their illness and being informed about it instead of st sticking their head in the sand. Mm -hmm. and, and that's actually been studied and it's been found that people that are more uh, proactive in seeking information about their illness end up having a better adjustment and emotional well-being in the long run than people who avoid uh, information. A key issue has to do with, with how should a person feel when they ha are dealing with melanoma? And, and I think the best answer to that is, is that somebody uh, should feel mixed. And what I mean by that is that in, in most situations, the, the illness gives reasons for a person to be concerned or worried. But there's also reasons for the person to have hope and optimism. So there's reasons to feel both ways. And research has shown that, that people who manage to, to feel both kinds of things in a, in a balanced way um, have, a, have a better adjustment to their illness over the long run than people who are just always trying to feel positive and never allowing any, any expression of their, of their more negative feelings. Uh, it's also been found in research that it's important to reach out for support instead of being very stoic and kind of going it alone when you're dealing with, uh, with melanoma. It's been found that people that uh, become, uh, take an active, pro, a proactive stance in trying to promote their recovery by making positive changes in their lifestyle or their health habits, mm -hmm. that that helps people to cope and, and, and to feel better. So these are just some of the uh, positive ways that people can cope with their illness that, uh, that promote their adjustment and well-being, and thereby promote a better immune response to their illness. 